In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit and customize the navigation menu for your Show It site. So if you've got a Show It template and you're trying to figure out how to customize that navigation menu, you're in the right place. And don't worry, I know it can look super complicated the way that navigation menus are set up sometimes, but it's really easy. I'll walk you through it step by step. Hi, I'm Maya. I'm a brand and website designer who fell in love with Show It, and now I want to help you learn Show It too. Just a couple things that I want you to know before we get into the tutorial with your navigation menu. You want to keep things simple. When your navigation gets cluttered, it can confuse your website visitors and we don't want that. And we also want to make things super clear. So instead of using kind of catchy or cutesy phrases in the navigation menu, like journal instead of blog, or meet Maya instead of about. Let's just keep it plain and simple and clear and that will get you the best results. There are two different types of navigation menus that I see on desktop when it comes to show it sites most commonly. And the first is that traditional menu where it's just a bar at the top of your website. And the second is what I like to call a hamburger style menu. It almost mimics the mobile navigation, but it's used on desktop. And so I'll be showing you how to edit both of these styles of menus in this video and I'll put timestamps in the description below so you can jump to whichever part you need for the style menu that's in your template. I'm going to switch to desktop only view right now just so that there'll be less distractions since we're focusing on the desktop navigation. Now the Shine template has a hamburger style desktop menu. Everything is hidden away and it has this little hamburger type icon like you would see on mobile. So in order to customize this type of navigation, what you'll do is go to the very top of your page and an option will pop up that says Site Canvas Edit D Desktop Nav. So click on that and right here you have a box and if you need to change the color of that, just go over here and then go to color and you can choose a different option and all of your colors that you loaded in your design settings should be here and i'm going to go over here and click canvas um all the sections on your website are called canvases and show it so this is showing you all the details of what's inside this desktop nav canvas if you want to change this here where it says menu you just click on it and you can double click to type if you wanted to name it something else. But I recommend leaving it named menu just so people know what that is over there. You can change the color or the font as needed. And then here you have your hamburger icon. If you'd like to change the symbol, you can do that under the icon chooser. And if you'd like to change the color, just click icon settings. And I think I'll change this to dark brown. There's a link so that when someone clicks this button, it will open your second view for your navigation. So go ahead and click on that. And here you'll now see what you're used to seeing when you click on navigation for a website, all of your website pages. Depending on what fonts you've used and the font sizes, they might not fit as neatly into the text box. So if you need to make a text box bigger, just click on it and then click and drag that handle. And again, it's using your type styles that you put in under your design settings, but you can still change the color or the font and override those settings if you need to. You can also rename your website pages if you need to. You would just double click the text box and then you can type to rename it. I do recommend using page names that are pretty easy to understand. So I know like some people like to call it blog journal, but usually I recommend keeping things as simple as possible just so people don't get confused on your website. If you wanted to add another option, you can select a text box and then hit Command C on a Mac to copy or Control C on Windows and then Command V on a Mac to paste or Control V on Windows. And then once you've copied and pasted, you just click the box and drag it down. And now I have another text box and let's say I wanted to name this dessert. And then one important thing about your navigation is that you'll want to make sure all your links work. So to do that, you'll click on a text box and then go to click actions. And I've already got these set to home about 
and then the blog was set to demo blog so you'll need to go back and change it to blog and then contact should be linked to contact and if you have a canvas slug there you can erase that but that's all you need to do to update your desktop navigation if you have the hamburger style menu now I'm going to show you how to update your desktop navigation if you have a more traditional navigation on desktop and I'll just click edit header and then there's all of your pages here you can click on any text box and then go to text style to change the color change the font if you need to um, right now it's following your type style but uh, you may need to change the color depending on what your background color here is and if you did need to change this canvas background color you would go here to do that so each of these text boxes links to a page on your website and if you need to change the link you would just click on it and then click click actions I already have this page set to home this page is set to about and then your blog page make sure that that's set to regular blog and not demo blog and then you can link to your social media profiles here um for instagram it's just you'll just need your instagram url so you click url and then type in the url here so for example my url is https colon slash slash instagram.com slash my Palmer designs so it's just instagram.com slash your username and just make sure that you include the https before instagram.com and then for facebook you may have to go to your facebook settings to see your facebook page url it's usually facebook.com slash whatever your page shortcut username is if you have one of those and then usually your logo here will link to the home page all right that's it that's how you edit your desktop navigation and show it see i told you it wouldn't be so bad and be sure to stay tuned because next week i'm going to show you how to edit your mobile navigation and show it it's pretty similar but there's just a couple things that'll be different because you're working with a um, screen that's sized for mobile be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe for future tutorials I post on this channel every Tuesday. If you have any questions about Show It, be sure to leave those in the comments below, or if you just have a suggestion for a Show It tutorial in general, be sure to let me know. I'm here to help you, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk with you again soon. Mm -hmm.